you like like of the big screen TVs. When plasma TVs came out, they were like ten thousand dollars, right? And then high def came out, and they were lowered. And then people said, hey, you know what? Uh, for a few, couple grand, I can get a projection television, and I can have not a 50 or 60 foot, I can have a 100 foot screen in my basement, right, for about a grand, and I'll put the projector up, it'd be fantastic. Well, guess what? Now, you use your tablet. Why? Because that screen, that 100 inch screen, is coming along with it. And this home theater projector, this Bluetooth home theater projector, is here and now, with the screen, with the tripod, with the powerful Bluetooth speaker and with the projector itself, remote control, and how do you, what do you use to, to get your content? Well, that's what this is all about because you have the content already and that's what makes this so fantastic in terms of a bundle. We've got a better price, normally $270. It's now a $70 savings. So I'm bringing the lights down now and you're seeing uh, Ali Carr come alive. That looks fantastic. That looks really, really, really good, guys. Okay, Michael Padula, we're live. We're live. I just want you to do an audio right now, Michael. Let's keep this shot up. What content, how did we get that content on there? Where did the content come from? Rick, it comes from almost any place you want it to. It comes from your, game, uh, your cable box. It comes from your television, whether it's new or old. It comes from your gaming system. You've got several different ports on your home theater projector machine so that you can plug in whatever, uh, so many things, whatever you want. We're gonna go through a whole list of them here, but we're talking games, uh, uh, sporting events, television shows, home videos, photos, tons and tons. Everything that you see right there on the screen is what comes, uh, what you can plug up into your supersonic home theater projector. So you're watching Netflix, and you've got you go. an iPad, you've you got a phone, right? And it's got audio on it. I've got HBO Max on my, uh, literally on my phone. Right, I'm watching Succession or I'm watching The Beatles Get Back on Disney Plus, right? I would invite some buddies over. I got it on my phone or my tablet, right? That's how I'm streaming it. No, I plug it into this thing. I do a, that Bluetooth IQ audio and now I'm watching it on a 100 inch screen. Is that pretty much it? That's pretty much it, Rick. And before you weren't able to connect to Bluetooth, but now you can. That's why this machine is the latest and greatest that Supersonic brings us. That's why it's a true home theater projector because it does come with the capability to shoot onto the 100 inch included screen. It also comes with the ability to play HD graphics and it comes with Bluetooth capability, something we haven't had before. Okay, great. So uh, do, do me a favor, give me if you yeah. would, uh, we've got a shot here, but I can, I can kind of give you a sense of what's happening here. I've got a, a computer hooked up right here, an HP computer running video, mm -hmm. plugged it into the box. This is on a tripod. I'm angling it on the tripod. This is the Bluetooth speaker, which is going to pick, which would, which would pick up the audio, right? And boom, it projects whatever size I want. The closer I get to the wall, the smaller the projection is going to be, the farther away. And you can see what we're doing now. We're literally filling up a 100 inch screen. It's exactly right, Rick. It is ultimate plug and play. It literally comes with a power cord that you plug in, then you connect whatever device you're going to stream to. In this uh, this situation, right, that you just described, you're streaming off of your uh, your tablet or your tele your phone. Uh, pop it in to the to the uh, the port that's on the machine, and away you go. Again, the machine can shoot up to 230 inches of display. Just because you get a 100 inch screen with it doesn't mean you can't even go further than that. Oh, really? This machine can go back. Yeah, oh yeah, yeah, yeah. You've got double the size of what the screen, uh, of, of, the, of the screen that comes with it is your capability. You can literally blast a screen 230 inches wide. We used to do 72 inches, now we're up to 230 do inches. Do we, do we, okay, okay uh, four minutes ago, this is here, this is a brand new first look. Once again, um, I just wanna make sure everybody realized what they're getting here. Okay, so Michael, I'll point, you get this, you're giving me as a gift. This is the projector, the projector that you can hook up to your tablet, to your computer, to whatever, right? This guy That's right. is the Bluetooth speaker, which is Bluetooth connecting to this guy, which is the actual box, which is the projector box. I can put it on the tripod if I want to, and this is my screen that I'm getting, and this is my power pack to, to, to power the whole thing up. Do I keep this on the, um, on a table, is that the best way to do this on the tripod? I don't put this up on the ceiling, do I? You absolutely can mount it from the ceiling, but there is a little tiny screw underneath the machine, right in the middle of the bottom, Rick, and that will adjust the height of the machine. So it can angle up off of a desk 
like you said, if you just want to have it on a desk or on a table, you can angle it up using the screw that's on the inside. You can mount it from the TV. You can attach it to the tripod. And quickly, I want to make sure that you know that because this is Bluetooth capable, right? This can stream your audio onto your Bluetooth speaker. However, just so you know, the Bluetooth speaker comes completely separate of your projector. So in essence, if you wanted to keep this for yourself or gift this away, they can work completely independently of one another. The projector does actually have two speakers inside of it, so it can project, but it can also attach to a Bluetooth speaker of your own or a sound bar, anything else. Okay, so then the only question is love it, love the idea, and you're old enough to know back in the day, right, when these big, amazing plasma TVs came out, or the, you know, the $1,000, $2,000 projection TVs came out, it was the way to go, right? So the question is this, how good is the video and how good is the sound? because that's the battle here. So I'm gonna bring the lights down in the studio again so that you can see, is the resolution, educate me here a little bit, is the resolution better the closer I get? Does that make a difference? You know, it always gets a little bit more clear and sharp the closer that you get, Rick, but the machine itself, the projector, the home theater projector is designed with certain capabilities and we won't get into the lumens capability and, but you know, that's how they, they talk about light, whatnot. But this has razor sharp graphics, bright colors, uh, high contrast, Let's and again, that. the first time I've ever had the privilege of presenting a projector that has the, the potential to broadcast in HD. I mean, so yes, the closer I you mean, get, there you get go. a little bit sharper, but to me, further that, away. If you're, if you're joining us right now and you're wondering, is that uh, like a, an LG TV behind us? It's not. That's a screen. That's a screen. And the, that is a heck of a family movie night, I'll tell you that, man. That is great. And by the way, you know what's a family movie night? from wherever they want it. Like you don't have a big screen TV in the basement right now. You don't have a big screen TV outside in the summertime. You don't have a big screen TV in the kid's bedroom and they want to have, they're having a sleepover and they want a family movie night. They say, okay, everybody up in the bedroom and just watch the movie and it's there. They now have a big screen movie with sound, with video and it's coming from streaming services that you already have. It's coming from, uh, from, from videos that you already have on your devices. So. Final minute again, what, where am I getting my content from, Michael? Literally, Rick, you can get it from anywhere. You can get it from a cable box, a Blu-ray player, a DVD player, gaming consoles, streaming devices for the kids. You know, the kids are using Apple TV and Roku and Fire Stick and Google Chromecast. This can plug into an, an older model television. It can plug into an older model DVD player, an older model uh, computer monitor. So it doesn't have to literally, I mean, how many things did we just name? About 15? Tons and tons of places you can broadcast, broadcast your own content from, making it a fun, super big screen entertainment experience. Very good. Michael, have a happy holiday. We appreciate you. I'm sure we'll see you soon, sir. Thanks, Rick. Always a pleasure. Okay, more to come. Today's special value coming up a little bit, by the way. And remind us how we began the show. The magic.